Hi, this is Paul from Skidlift. Here to show you how to turn on the auxiliaries on a typical Bobcat skid steer. And so you can get out of the seat and still run the skid lift while your uh, skid steer is running. With all Bobcats, you do have a safety bar, which goes over the top of your lap, normally when you're driving it and positioning it. Now, anytime I want to get out of the seat and get into the skid steer, I would raise my bar, use the auxiliary button up on the left-hand control panel. I only have to hit the button once, so there's one green light showing. And then I would come down and on my right-hand joystick, the trigger button on the back side, I would hit that and go from there. If I wanted to reverse low on the Bobcat, I would click this to the left and hit the back button at the same time. That would reverse my flow, but I just need forward flow right now. So, so I'm gonna take and start it up and walk you through that. So I would want to raise my lap bar. Sorry if the video is a little jumpy. Put the button up on the left hand control panel one green light only. Two green lights would be high flow, and I do not need high flow. I'm going to go back. You can't hear the pump rolling. So one thing I want to do if I'm going to stop using the skid lift is, or turn off my auxiliary power, is hit that again before I turn off the machine. That will keep the pressure from uh, pressurizing the lines. So I'm going to actually turn it back on, pretty easy. I'm going to get out of my skid steer. I can get right into the 2230S that I'm connected to. And you can see that now I'm out of the cab and can run my skid lift. questions on this procedure, be sure to consult your owner's manual or give us a call over here at Skidlift and we'll be happy to help. Thanks and have a great day.